And we are live, raw from the generator, as requested by Calamity Vane, raw from the generator. It was a three-way tie on venues, and so we turned it over to the Greeks, and they chose raw from the generator. Welcome, everybody. I am the Etc. Kid, and if this is your first time watching, uh, either live or on demand, this show is all about improv. Everything you see me do is improvised. Uh, but I get a ton of help from chat. Chat comes up with the sounds I'm going to use. Chat chooses the, the speed of the song, the starting key. Uh, chat, I turn your usernames to drum loops and drum fills. And you guys come up with titles and venues and tour names. So it's very collaborative what we have going here. Speaking of collaboration, it looks like we already have a lot of requests. I am missing. I still need a couple more fills. I have zero key requests as of now. Anyway, let's see who's here. I see in my chat, I see Dom is here, Lost Elf, Ninja Fleas, Greeley99, Azazelin, uh, Where's Hats? Did I say, who else did I miss? If I didn't say your name, it's because I don't see you in, the, in my uh, list, but welcome. Welcome to my Invisible Lurkers as well. Oh, we got Thurman here. Hey, Thurman. Word salad. <laughs> Thank you, Word. Yeah, it's a it's a glasses and hat day here in the generator. Glasses and hats. Okay, let's see. That looks okay. You guys come through. We got all our requests we need for our first improv. Looks like. Wait, the 13th show, that's a mistake. This is the 14th show. Hold on, let me let me correct to beard not to bots memory banks. Okay. There you go, to beard not to bot. Now you are correct. Now you will be correct. Hey, an effortless mountain is here. Hey, effortless mountain. Welcome back. Okay, let's see. Let's start to bring in these requests. Okay. Bringing in the requests. How's everybody doing today? Oh, and Cibonetti's here. Okay, we have the key of D from Effortless Mountain, 95 beats a minute from Greeley 99, drum loops from Lost Elf and Sniper Bob. We have a full set of sounds and drums. So let us start loading those up. Let's see. That looks good. <laughs> Getting everything back to zero. Whoops. That looks good. There we go. <laughs> and Bluecrest is here. Okay, let's see. We got the drum and bass kit from DJ Long John. How's it going, DJ? Uh, no, we don't have that sound yet. Why don't we? Let's see. What, what happened over here? Hmm. They should have loaded them. There we go. There we go. Now we're in good shape. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we have our kit. So let's initialize, import our track names. Generate our drum fills. Generate our drum loops. And you know what? I sort of like this sound here. So I'm going to include it as a possibility the generator can consider. So C1, C2. I think it's... We'll make it a low probability, but a probability nonetheless that it may, the generator may use it if it wishes to. Okay. <laughs> oh, where's Hats? That's a clever one. Where's Hats? Just did a, a pretty clever bot talk. <laughs> okay, let's look at these loops. Let's see if that, that funky sound made it in. Nope, not in this one. Here it is. Lost Elf raw from the generator. <laughs> we do have that, that sound, though. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, dropping these hats. I'm going to drop that funky sound a bit. Because it's very... You, you know it when you hear it. Let's drop these snares a bit. And... That looks good. And this snare... I mean, this kick will drop a little bit. No, not, not as much. Okay, here it is. Lost Elf. Okay, that's our first beat. Let's check out Sniper Bob. Let's see if Sniper Bob got the the funky sound in his. He did! Four of them. Okay, let's check it out. Here it is raw. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I extend. I think I need to extend them a little bit. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, so I think I'm just going to extend one of them. Probably that. Whoops. Okay, let's add a kick here. This snare we're going to drop a bit. This hat looks good. Uh, that one I'm going to drop, and that one I'm going to drop a bit. This snare we're going to drop a bit. And let's yeah, let's put a kick there. And I think we're gonna have a hat there, and that should be it. These we're gonna drop though a little bit in volume. This is sort of wacky. Here we go, sniper Bob's beat. That's exactly the last episode. It sounds like someone dropping a coin into an empty tip can. <laughs> I think I'm going to add a snare here too, though. And drop this snare a bit. I think we're going to drop these a little quieter, even. That's grooving. That's grooving. Cool. Okay, we have our beats. Let us check out. Let us check out. We have Yamaha Grand Piano from Ninja Fleas. Oh, we got two pianos. We also have the Steinway Piano and Pad from Greeley 99. Celtic Harp from Word Salad. Kai 
Amira Bells from Where's Hats. And there it is from Dom. We got Dobro Chords. Let me see. What can I do? I want to put a little, I'm going to put this on it. There's our dobro chords. And then antimatter synth from D.O. Long John. Nice. Huh, that's an interesting set of sounds. <laughs> Triple P is here. Northern Boreal is here. Where's Hats? Is refreshed. Okay, let's choose the sound that's going to start this improv. It could be one of the drum loops or Yamaha Grand Piano. Steinway with pad, Celtic harp, <laughs> chorus N3. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for uh, making the request. Make some more today. We got uh, Chimera Bells. Whoops. Those were our dobro chords. And antimatter synth. Ana Wheat is here. Let's see. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to just double check something. Bedtime. Where's hat? Where? Where's hat? Where in the universe might you rest your head at night? Is it late where you are? I wish I could play in all time zones simultaneously. Okay, you guys had enough time. Let's end voting. Let's see what you guys chose. Lost Elf Drum Loop. Nice. So we're starting with the drums. As always, as I'm playing this one, be thinking about titles. Give me some a bunch of good venues. You guys were real creative on venues yesterday. Uh, some tours for next, for February. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gruley writes, he rests it in a pillow. We did a show in a pillow fort recently. That was that was a memorable show. Oh, that's right. Where's that? Where's that's got the uh, personal times? I remember you mentioning that. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Time to accelerate.
That was a <laughs> that was an interesting one. That was fun loose from Lost Dolphin Sniper Bob. How about uh, D DJ Long John's synthesizer request? That was the melodic thing that was the melody we, we ended on. That was a cool sound. And then I, I have fun playing those pianos and harp off each other. The bells were nice. Of course, dobro chords. Yeah, that was groovy. Nice mellow, mellow start to the show. Let's see. So we just got to name this baby. <laughs> oh, thanks, everybody. Let's see. Okay, so I am going to start looking through these titles. And I'm actually going to take advantage. There's there's a little bug that's been happening on my end. It doesn't affect you guys. But it is slowing down my moving of titles over. And I tried to figure it out earlier today, but it was working fine. So I, I've got to I've got to test it in a real world situation. So it's just going to slow me down for about 15, 20 seconds. Because um, I'm basically going to be doing debugging, running a debugger on a script. And just watching what happens. <laughs> but I will be quick with this. But our first title <laughs> from Dom, The Goldilocks Zone. So now that I've selected that, what I'm doing, guys, is I am stepping one line of code at a time through this little script that adds that title to our poll and I'm trying to find which step gets slowed down because every time I add a title there's like a uh, four second delay and it should not take that long so I'm just and I bet I'm gonna do this and it's gonna work perfectly Yep, it's working perfectly when I step through it. How frustrating. I thought I could solve it. Well, it could be that, actually, that step, that last step. I wonder if that's the issue. Oh, well. I did not figure it out. So our first title option is Goldilocks Zone from Dom. Let me see. Let me bring in a few more. From from Lost Elf Teapot Tiptoe. Let's see. <laughs> from Sniper Bob, a boxing musical. From Blue Crest, we have Fishing at the Edge of Camelot Castle. And lastly, from a Zazzlin Rocking Chair by the Lake. Okay, those are your, those are your options. The Goldilocks Zone, Teapot Tiptoe, a boxing musical, Fishing at the Edge of Camelot Castle, and Rocking Chair by the Lake. Hey, it's Music Chick. What did I do on that? I did a little bit of voice.
chat is rapping chat is <laughs> oh i did melodica i totally forgot thank you for the reminder thank you for the reminder let me get back to that screen so the, the reason, if you guys wonder why after every song I go, so what did I do on this song? It's because I take these song notes, the idea being that eventually, once I have this music up available for you guys to listen to again, you'll be able to do very sophisticated searches and say, maybe you just want to hear songs that have melodica in them. You'll be able to do that. Because it's already set up. It, every, every request you guys have, it already has in the database, right? So, uh, but it does not, the computer does not know what I do unless I tell it. There's chess on, on uh, Twitch. Like, like computer chess or... People sitting at a table moving actual pieces. That would be, I, I'd watch some of that. Looks like we got some new follows from Apex11 and Whisper Sev. Thanks for the follows, guys. <laughs> thanks Thurman <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody who's done who's done like 10,000 songs already or something crazy well maybe if I keep doing this stream for you know 20 years then yeah we'd be doing because we're what are we going at a rate of, of what is that let me end the vote. Let me see. That would be if I'm averaging, let's say, averaging, I think I average about six songs a show. So that's uh, times five a week times 50. So that's 1,500 songs a year. You know, if I do it for 20 years, 30,000 tracks. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ending voting. Teapot Tiptoe. Nice. This is Lost Elf. So that track will be forever remembered as Teapot Tiptoe. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions. <laughs> Wow, Lost Elf's ninth title. Congratulations, Lost Elf. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I improvisation is very different than than uh, produced tracks. I do not work quickly when I am sitting down and composing or producing a track. It is a much slower process. And I'm preparing to start doing that, actually, which I'm going to talk about later today because it involves you guys. As everything I do, I try to involve you guys. But... Maybe in a couple songs I'll talk about it. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Stop throwing barrels at me. Man, what what was that song? Stop throwing barrels at me. <laughs> was I throwing barrels at you guys chat during that track?
I'm sure every once in a while, or maybe frequently, I play something, and you guys are thinking this is this is basically like uh, uh, audio assault. The kid is is bludgeoning us with this this insanity. What is the kid doing? Oh, yeah, funky sounding kicks, Stephen Eddie says. Or Tom. Yeah, I think I remember that. The truth is that I, after the song is over, I can barely remember it most of the time. <laughs> I can't, like, after, like, in, like, after, like, 20 seconds, it is just gone. So I feel like if, if I if I went back and watched some of these shows, the earlier shows, I would think, who, who created that? It wasn't me. I don't remember that. Because I think it's that uh, for improv, it's all about being in the moment, which is not necessarily conducive to trying to remember something, right? Because it's all about just razor focus on the present, not on what just happened, but what's happening right now, it's about to happen. So once it's over... It's just, it's hard to hold hold on to it. Okay, let's see. Bringing in our request for our second track of the day. Let's see what we have. Oh, yeah, you guys are giving me a good, healthy number of key requests. We had zero at the start of the show. Now we've got like 10 of them. Okay, bring in these in. Okay, we got a key of A minor from Thurman, 124 beats a minute from Effortless Mountain. I haven't been doing as many fast ones recently, but I'll, may, I'm going to try tonight to, to speed it up a bit. We got our loops from a Zazzlin and Bluecrest. And we have full set of sounds and drums. So let us start getting those all loaded up. Hey, it's Dorf. <laughs> yeah, I agreed to zone him. <laughs> I have that experience with code sometimes. I'll go back and look at code and just think, what was I thinking when I wrote that? No recollection of it at all. Because with code, you're, I think you're in the moment, but you're in the moment that is a longer stretch. Like you are so, like you'll work on a project for 10 hours straight and you're, it's like juggling. You're, you're keeping all these things in your mind. You have to keep track of and relationships between different scripts. And, uh, and then once you finish it, you move on to something else and you forget it all. That's why it's good to, to comment your code. It's something I'm not always good about, but it's really helpful. Okay, let's load up these sounds. <laughs> the Etizonium writes, Which noob created this? Wait, that was me, Kappa. <laughs> okay, here it is. Unreal Acoustic from Ninja Fleas. Stephen A writes, Comedy and Code is for schlubs. Sometimes, sometimes drum kits include uh, pitches in them. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm. You know, I, I. When I created the generator, I did all these cool things with it, and then I haven't been taking advantage of all the features. So lately, I'm. I'm trying to, at least a few songs a night, be a little more experimental with the drum generator. 
And we are going to be experimental slightly again. Let us put in I like both those sounds are both fun so let's C1 C2 C2 so G sharp 2 and A sharp 2 we're going to add as possibilities uh, we will give them a probability of a 3 so they're most likely going to happen but they may not Generator note map. There we go. Okay, here we go. Whoops. I blew it. I was so caught up and I screwed it up. Let me try that again. G sharp. And what was it? A sharp. And we're going to do a probability of three. Probability of three. Note map. Drum loops. Save just in case. Ah! See, that's why I saved. Take care. Take care, Elite. If I don't see you later. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, Ariona's here. Oh, and Matt plays music. Hey, Matt plays music. We had fun. That was fun last night. Anyone here? Was It was last night, I think, or the night before. Well, did, did we come in? It was, uh, um, oh, this would make a good segue, actually. Well, no, I still want to save this for later. I still want to save this for later. Let's see. That was a that was a Tears for Fear song you were playing, right, Matt? When we came in, that was the first. Was that right? I think you were. I love Tears for Fears. You, you sounded great. You sounded really good. Really nice voice. Everyone should check out Matt, Matt's channel. Yeah, Ninja Fleas. That's that's the dude, right? Matt. It was last night, right? Matt plays music. Was last night. Okay, let me try this again. Let's try this again. Oh, let's see. Here, I'm going to take it off screen for a sec. This is always a little annoying. Whoops. Okay, here we go. A raw from the generator. It's going to be wacky, guys, I think, since I'm adding these extra notes that it can use. Here it is. <laughs> wacky. Let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to add our kick. These two snares we're going to drop in volume a bunch. Maybe not that much. Uh, this snare can drop a lot. This snare is slightly less. That snare a lot. That snare is great where it is. We're going to do a kick there. And then these, these are going to drop a bunch. This is going to be a wacky track, guys. Wacky track. Here it is. Here's the Zazzlin. Whoops. Why is my screen? T okay. I can only imagine. Here, here we go. I'm going to put a little delay on it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to add a few hats. I'm going to add a hat right here. And I want a hat there. 
and right there. And that, that'll help establish, because we've got a very, those, those funky sounds up there, which, well, this I assume is like a triangle or a weird cowbell or something. This, this I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Oops, not that much. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay, let's check out Bluecrest Beat. Here it is, raw from the generator. <laughs> okay, we're gonna these snares. We're gonna drop a bunch. Uh, let's add that snare there. Kick right here, and kicks right there. These are gonna drop a bit. And these hats going to drop a bit I want to I want a hat there and a hat there and <laughs> I love that sound that is so funny okay here here it is Bluecrest beat is that do is that look is that what I want yeah that looks good that looks good here it is Bluecrest beat This, this one here, I'm going to drop just a bit more. And this, I'm going to drop just a bit. Okay, those are our beats. This is going to be a wacky one. I can feel it. Dom asks, when do titles start being accepted? Um, you know, honestly, I think, I think as soon as... I can't remember where in the code. I'm pretty sure once I say I'm creating a new empty track... At that point, the database knows we've started the song, so you could do titles then, but uh, so as early as then. Okay, we've got a Wheat's favorite sound, Dark Bass Drive. I was wondering why things were so quiet. It's because I didn't get this where I was supposed to be. There we go. Okay, that's Dark Bass Drive. We got classical piano from Northern Boreal. It would be fun to have a real piano in here. FM Digiwave from Sniper Bob. <laughs> Quirky harp from Carlito. Quirky, what is that going to be? Now we have clouds in it from, I assume in it means initialize maybe from DJ Long John. We have Funky SQ, Funky Square from Sour Frog. Oh, it doesn't go below, doesn't go below C. Below C1. Okay. So let's do our vote. Let's do our vote, see what you guys are going to have me start with. Oh, well, Blue Dix is back. Welcome back. We could start with one of the drum loops, a wacky drum loops, or a dark bass drive, classical piano, FM digiwave, our quirky harp, Clouds initialize. <laughs> D 
To be or not to buy, you gotta be focused here. Or funky square. <laughs> hey, it's uh, is J Can stuff. How's it going, is J Can stuff? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. I, I'm I'm looking forward to this track we're about to do. The beats are very wacky, and there's a lot of notes in them. So they, I'll warn you guys, the computer could stutter. I really need to get a computer that is just for the drums. Seems like overkill, but it's not actually. If I had a computer just for the drums, then we could do, I wouldn't hesitate to do tracks like 180, 200, 250 all the time. Okay, give you a moment more. Our votes are still coming in. Yeah, to be or not to bot, there was a tie earlier, and to be or not to bot, J blame Jiffy for it. <laughs> How on earth could Jiffy have influenced the vote? Oh, sorry, Ariona. Ariona is audio only. <laughs> so I need to move a little. I'll try to remember to say the numbers, Ariona. <laughs> okay, wait a moment more. Northern Boreal writes, Jiffy's Telethought Transcaster caused us to vote for chaos. Telethought Transcaster, that sounds amazing. I want a Telethought Transcaster for my birthday. Okay, here we go. Any voting. What did you guys choose? Oh, speaking of ties, it says a three-way tie between classical piano, clouds, initialize, and funky squares. Let's let the Greeks make the final decision. Funky Square, decided by Aries. <laughs> okay, so we're starting with Funky Square. And who requested the Funky Square? Sour Frog did. Okay. Thank you, Sour Frog. And actually, I'm, I want to check something quick. <laughs> to be or not, bot. That's 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 slander to be or not to mod. That was a slanderous thing to say. I just want to check something. Why? Okay, I guess that's working. Huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, wish me luck on this one. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> second song of the day, second improv. Oh, thanks, Retro Re Renegade. Okay, time to accelerate. Let's do it. Sorry, I got distracted reading reading a message. It was an important message, but we are ready for the music. This is here. We go. I, I don't know, man. With those beats, <laughs> it's so wacky. Here it is. Be thinking about titles as I'm playing. Uh, come up with some more venues for tomorrow, uh, some tour suggestions, tour name suggestions for February set of shows. Okay, here we go. Well, let's do it. Wackiness ensues. Bow 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 b
Pretty, pretty wacky. Pretty wacky. How about those loops, though, from a Zazzle and a Bootcrest? With those funky sounds? <laughs> what? What are you talking about to be or not to bot? Tavir Natavad is going to be in a soap opera. Thanks, everybody. So apparently there are bot soap operas. Is that is that what you, you come to, Tavir Natavad, if you don't go to bot college? Your only option is to sell your soul in a soap opera? Okay, let's choose the title. As always, wait to vote until after To Be or Not To Buy has advised you it is time to vote. <laughs> From Matt Plays Music, we have Error 404. Oh, Sniper Bob, you you have, you have a bunch of good ones. I'm having a hard time deciding. Oh, it's it's either between Devoured by Lunar Frogs and Have Brick Will Travel. Oh, I think I'm going to do Have Brick Will Travel, although I love Devoured by Lunar Frogs. You'll have to use that one again, Sniper Bob. <laughs> from Northern Boreal Intergalactic Moth Harmonics and from Rosen Nettle Sweets Rolling Through the Gumball Machine and one more oh you guys have so many good ones From C. Millie Mills, Mars Attacks Prep Rally. <laughs> oh, you guys had so many good ones. I need to do more wacky tracks like that. It could be Air 404, Have Brick Will Travel, Intergalactic Moth Harmonic, Sweets Rolling Through the Gumball Machine, or Mars Attacks Prep Rally. Yeah, there's no there's no limit. 
There's no limit to requests. They might not all get filled, but there's currently no limit. Because To Be or Not To Bot does its, well, titles I review, but all the other ones To Be or Not To Bot manages. Let's see, what did I do? Did I do anything on that? I did a little trombone. I apologize, guys. I forgot to mute my channel. before. Well, I blew it, and I forgot to put my uh, plug my trombone in. And then instead of muting my track like I should have, I just plugged it in. You guys had that horrible crackle. I apologize. I was sloppy on my part. Hey, it's Zero Stance got us. How you doing, Zero? Let's see. Give you guys a little more time. <laughs> so any of you guys who have, have not been initiated into the world of To Be or Not To Bot, uh, the cool thing about To Be or Not To Bot is that you guys, whoops, you guys can help shape what to be or not to bot says and there's a whole sort of uh we'll call it it's not really an api but a guide for how to do it and i'm going to paste the link in um the easiest thing to do and if you have not done this yet you should it's pretty sweet is if you type exclamation point bot space and then the word greet me g-r-e-e-t-m-e one word then you can write a custom message that to be or not to bot will say the next time you uh, watch a show after your first message. And you can have multiple greet me's. You can give it as many as you want right now. Eventually, I'm probably going to put a limit. So enjoy unlimited while you can. And then to be or not to bot will choose between your choices. Um, there's also to be or not to, there's all these different things that happen during the show where to be or not as you guys have noticed where to be or not about says something and there's a way that you guys can uh give it ideas okay i'm ending voting let's see what you guys chose <laughs> rosanetto sweets rolling through the gumball machine Sweets rolling through the gumball machine. <laughs> That's a pretty fun name. Thank you, Rosanetto. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions. But that track will now be immortalized as Sweets Rolling Through the Gumball Machine. Oh, and Rosanetto's done six so far. Nice. Oh, yeah. Grime Chime Prime Time. Outer Orbit Observations. Nice. <laughs> okay, create a new empty track for us to fill. Let's see. Uh, get some water here. Uh, Sniper Bob just did a good, good uh, bot talk. <laughs> so if you guys wonder why uh, during while I'm playing, sometimes I I go I duck down here. Uh, it's because I have a, a big mixing board underneath here, uh, and I I basically have all the different mics muted so that there's not too much. Well, it's just better to do it that way. But every once in a while, I forget to unmute something, and so you'll see me try to play and no sound comes out. Or I will forget to mute something. So I forget to unmute or I forget to mute. And weird things happen. Eventually, I'm planning on getting that mixer board and putting it just off screen right here. So it'd be a little more accessible. I could just look right at it and I know. Or now I have to sort of hunch down. 
Okay, we have our new empty track. I was buying time right there. Oh yeah, today's show is live, raw from the generator. <laughs> As requested by Calamity Vane. Oh, it's bro, 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 bro. It's been a while, bro, 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 bro. How you doing? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Starting to bring in these requests. I think we're gonna we're gonna you know we, that was sort of a wacky, sort of fast, relatively fast. We're gonna we're gonna mellow it out. I think. Pull it back a bit. Brunswick Stew requested seventy beats a minute. Let's see what what do we have here? Oh, we've got Matt a, Matt plays music's first request. Looks like a synth acid attack. So we have E flat minor from Sour Frog, 70 beats a minute from Brunswick Stew, drum loose from N3 and Dorf. Uh, we have the tribal kit from Northern Boreal. We have full set of sounds and drum fills. We we'll look at those momentarily. Oh, good. We got two pads too. That'll be good for this. Is it slower? It's, it's nice having pads on slow tracks. Okay, I'm locking. I am going to load up our sounds. There they go. Get everything back to zero. So, Brebra bro, 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 you, you have to get a, If you didn't already, you have to get a request in. I don't know if you've seen it, Brebra bro, 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 but I, I have this thing I do at the end of shows now. I, I don't know how long I've been doing it, but I do a shout out to, to everyone who's had a request that was filled or have a title that was chosen or a venue. So, I try to say all these usernames super fast. Uh, this is going to blow people's minds when they hear the speed with which I can say Brebra bro, bro, bro. Okay, let's see. We got the tribal kit from Northern Boreal. Let's, you know, yeah, we should definitely mess around. I, I'm in a mood, I guess. I'm in a mood to have weird things happen on the show musically. Okay, we have our drum fills, and for our drum loops, let us add the possibility of toms. Um, I almost feel like we should have toms instead of hi-hats. Well... Yeah, let's, um, let's have our low mid tom and our high four tom we will have pretty high probability of these a four now let's do it even higher five and a four for that let's generate our note map okay so our two drum loops don't crash come on good and three and dwarf <laughs> and three with the minimal beat because the numbers Let's check it out. We're off from the generator. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we do? All those open hi-hats, too. Okay, we're going to add a snare. And we'll do a snare there. And, and I, think, I think I might just leave it like that. Maybe put some, we'll have some delay on these beats too. Okay, here it is, N3's beat. 
And let's just, let's do a little volume work just so that a little more interesting. Let's do that. Drop these a bit. And okay, here we go. Here's N3's beat. I think I'm going to need to subdivide it a little bit, actually. So I'm going to add... Let's add just some hi-hat pedals. Right there. And one hat. Let's do one hat. That looks good. Okay, a little busier. Since it's so slow, it help to have some subdivision. That snare I want. I want a louder. Okay, cool. Thanks, N3. Let us check out Dwarf's beat. Here it is. That's <laughs> pretty sweet. We're gonna add a kick there. Maybe is all I'm gonna do. Maybe a kick there. I think that could be it. Wow, that's sweet. And I, I want to try one thing. I want to add a hat here. Open hat. Now I take it back. It is good the way it was. Sweet. This will be fun. This will be a wacky one. Another wacky one. Maybe, well, maybe not. Those, those beats aren't actually that wacky. They're just, we're not used to hearing them. Beats like that, at least on this show. Okay, let's check out the sounds you guys have. Um... Let's see, we've got Noob. What is that, voice space right here? <laughs> Let's see, we got voice space. We have toasted tubes. <laughs> Who's Toasted Tubes from? That's from Hat Machine. And Voice Space was from Casilton. We've got Caribbean Steel Drums from Kiss the Goatee. Pad from Triple P. We got random wave groove from Elite. This is probably a rhythmic sound, so it won't be one we can start with, but I will use it. That's cool. And then we have from Matt Plays Music, our, our new friend, Matt Plays Music. We have Acid Attack. Okay. So some very different sounds on there. Oh, it looks like... Oh, I did miss this. Uh, we have got an awesome donation from Northern Boreal. Thank you so much, Northern Boreal. Thank you. 
Northern Boreal writes, time to etcetera. Yes, it is. Okay, we could start with one of those drum loops with the toms or with voice bass from Kasilton. <laughs> Toasted tubes. Caribbean steel drums. Astral pad from Triple P. and this is not an option five is not an option remember acid attack nice cool well so while you guys vote I'm going to just check something quick what do I what did I want to check oh yes I want to check if it sent the message Oh, good, it did. Okay, give you a little more time. A little more time. Okay, you guys had enough time. Um, end in voting. Let's see you chose. Astral pad. Nice. So that decision, definitely a big one, it's probably going to be a more mellow track. If you guys had chosen, say, uh, Voice Space or Acid Attack as the first one, I might have done something a little more aggressive. But we're gonna, I think this more likely to be mellow, starting with a pad. Which is good, because it's slow. It'll feel good, I think, starting with a pad. This will be sweet. Who requested Astral Pad? Triple P, right? Okay, here we go. So as always, as I am playing, be thinking about titles, uh, recommend some new venues. Um, <laughs> Sniper Bob says, you didn't want mellow. That's right. I do. I want to mellow it out after the last one. Okay. Time to accelerate.
<laughs> that was cool. How, how about those drum loops from N3 and Dorf? Those were, those were awesome. So Astral Pad is actually not the most mellow pad, right? So it, sent, it, it ended up sending me in a direction. I, I, I forgot before the song started what Astral Pad sounds like, but it's, it's not so mellow. That was cool, though. But, man, Toasted Tubes was an awesome weed sound from Hat Machine. And I was using uh, Matt Plays Music's Acid Attack, mostly as a big bass, a huge bass. That was, that was pretty cool, though. Uh, nice. This was a longer one, right? Extended that a bit. So did you guys come up with titles? 58 titles. Nice. Let's see. Let's see what you guys came up with. Oh, thanks, Jim Maximus. Uh, Dark Zune is here. Kiss the Goatee is here. Who else is new that's shown up? I think everyone else, yeah. Okay. So, as always, wait to vote until after Tabir Natabat advises you it is time. So let me see what you guys came up with. <laughs> Some of you guys are so prolific. It's extraordinary. Okay, let's see. I don't think I'm even able to read all of them. There's so many. Six, there's now 61. They keep, keep you guys keep giving me more. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have. From Sniper Bob, The Descent of Humanity. The Descent of Humanity. And then we have, let's see. From Best Mommy, Messages of Madness. Hi, Best Mommy. From Ken Fusion, The Last Anthem. From DJ Long John, we have Hallucinogenic Star. Yeah, let's see. From Bre 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 Bro, we have Into the Darkness. Okay, those are your options. The Descent of Humanity, Messages of Madness, The Last Anthem, Hallucinogenic Star, and Into the Darkness. Oh, Barskaya is here. Hey, Barskaya. And what did I do on that? I just sang, right? I didn't play any instruments, did I? I just I do I have no recollection. Did I play any instruments? Someone in chat tell me if I played an instrument. I don't, I don't think I did. I think I just sang. Or did I? Yeah, I can't remember. And Mathway says, you played the mic. <laughs> no instruments, Bluecrest confirms. That's what I thought. 
Yeah, I, I don't think it needed any of the instruments. That's why I didn't, I guess. Just some voice. Okay, give you guys a little longer to vote. Meanwhile... I've got a new follow from Caden J. Carter. Edger <laughs> Maximus says, you played the kazoo. I think I played the kazoo, what was it, two nights ago? So that means I, I probably won't play it for another week or so. I wonder how many times have I played the kazoo? How many songs have kazoo in them? Let me just, I think I can find that out pretty quickly. Looks like I've done the kazoo eight times, if my database is accurate. If I remembered to... Is that eight times? Yeah. <laughs> that actually could have been a good kazoo song. You know, I, I feel like the kazoo does best when it's pretty intense. And I got some fire underneath me. <laughs> best Mommy suggests we have a command called kazoo count. It says how many times a kazoo has been played in songs. But let me see, what, what are the songs? So the songs a kazoo has appeared on include, if this is accurate, which it may not be, because it depends on human, my accuracy. Well, there were, there, I did the kazoo in a very early show when no one was watching. So, and I don't have notes for those, so I think it might have been used nine times. But let's see, it was used on, I might not be right, but you're wrong. <laughs> Ground control to Kid Kazoo. Electric Kazoo We only need eight bits. Sinfully orange. When Rob the Robot spoke. Doot doot beep. And then it was it two nights ago or one night ago, through the wormhole and back again. Those were our kazoo tracks. Okay, I'm I'm ending voting. Sniper Bob says, is that your stomach I hear? It's possible. It is possible. I don't think I heard it. Could have been Jiffy too, but yeah, it might be me. It might be closer to my stomach than to Jiffy's stomach. Okay, I'm ending voting. That's you guys chose. The last anthem. That came from Ken Fusion. So that track will be forever remembered as the last anthem. Thanks to everyone for your title suggestions. Wormhole was on Monday, Dom says. Yeah, so that was the longest song I've ever done on Twitch. Uh, it was 25 minutes long. <laughs> and highlights included me singing the highest note that I, as far as I know, has ever been recorded of me singing. I sang a B-flat, two notes below a soprano high C. <laughs> it also it was pretty epic. It had a, a trombone solo in it, kazoo solo. I think there was, there was singing, obviously, a little bit of singing. Okay, so uh, this is a good, I think this is a good time to talk about my new thing I'm doing. So, um... Obviously, uh, you got anyone who's watched this show uh, more than four or five times has almost certainly heard me talk about copyright and my frustrations with uh, uh, sort of some legal things related to copyright and in explanation for why I do not do covers. Uh, one of the reasons I do not do covers on live. Uh, but... I've been getting, getting, starting to get, you know, get feeling a little bit of an itch 
to do some stuff that's a little more produced that I that isn't improvised that is something I sort of spend more time on and I'm not quite ready to be doing uh, original compositions again uh, that might probably won't be till the summer at least uh, but I thought it would be fun to start doing uh, <laughs> to start doing uh, what I'm going to call uncovers. And you might say, why, why do you call them uncovers? And let me just bring this screen up so I can hold on, guys, just one second. Uh, and, and the reason I like the word uncovers as opposed to cover is when I put when I approach a cover song, I like to think of it as if I'm uncovering what is possible with the song, not covering up or copying what has already been done. That's why I call them uncovers. But anyway, here's how it's going to work. Uh, you guys are going to be able to request or will suggest different songs that you would like to hear me record. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to let anyone make suggestions. Um, <laughs> Zane, let me tell you, if this were a green screen, I would not have crooked lights behind me. <laughs> it is no green screen, dude. I would not have this heinous brown color in my background. So no, no green screen for me. This is a real space. But anyway, so you guys can uh, suggest uh, songs you think would be interesting to hear me do. And uh, the way the way it's going to work is... I'm going to take all the suggestions you guys make. Coffee Traveler says, is it all pegboard? It is. I did not build this space. I would not have used uh, pegboard. <laughs> I would not. It would not. If I were, I would not have this ugly carpet. But, you know, you use what you have available. And when I came up with the idea for this show, I was lucky to find the space where it's fairly soundproof. Uh, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so uncovers, basically what's going to work is you guys can make your, your suggestions of songs you think would be interesting to hear me record. Uh, I'm going to go through them all and I'll choose five, sort of like the way I do titles. And then I'm going to be introducing a subscription soon. Uh, and basically anyone who's an active subscriber will be able to, uh, vote and then, I think what I'm going to do is sort of like the top patron of the month is going to get to request some of the sounds and an instrument that I use on the track. So it, I think I think it could be fun. So basically, yeah, that's how it works. Um, the thing you need to do if you want to request, if you think that there, you have an idea of a song um, that you'd like me to do, basically, you would do it like this. I will give you guys an example. Let's say you wanted me to do Leonard Skinner Freebird. You would run this command. <laughs> and to be or not to bot helpfully confirms that uh, the request has been received. Uh, so I, I think I'll be taking suggestions for, I don't know, a week or two. Um, and let me say this. If it's a song you absolutely love and you think it is perfect as it is, don't request an uncover of it because I will ruin it. <laughs> I will ruin it for you because I feel there is nothing sacred about when you approach a song to do your own version of it. Nothing is sacred. Anything is on the table to change. Um, so, so yeah, don't request a song that you think it is perfect the way it is already because I'm going to do it pretty differently. 
Okay, so that's that's that. So I hope I hope a bunch of you guys give me some suggestions. Oh, and the one caveat is that uh, I have to be able to easily uh, license the song, which for probably 90% of songs out there, it's pretty easy to license if you're just doing an audio recording. It is almost impossible to license if you want to do it on stream, and that's why uh, I will not be doing them on stream, but we'll be doing them as audio only. Oh, Coffee Traveler suggests a, a couple streams. Yeah, I could do a couple streams. That might be one of the, yeah. So pretty much anything is on the table. I'll pick five uh, of what you guys suggest. And yeah, hopefully you guys give me a bunch to choose from. Okay, let us carry on. I think we're going to do one or two more songs tonight. Yeah, Super Tramp, we've got some MC Hammer. No, no limits here. And when I pick five, I'm going to try to pick five that are pretty different from each other, right? I'm not going to just pick five classic rock songs or five. I, I, I really want to give you guys a diverse set of songs to choose. And then, yeah, then I'll, I'll do a recording of it, and it'll be more like I'm doing a studio record version, which means much higher quality, at least sonically, than what I do live. And more thought out. So... But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm excited to sort of get back into the studio mindset. Do something, you know, that I, that I really have to really spend some time thinking about. Okay, I'm creating a new empty track. Well, wow, it's, is it, it's sort of annoying how, how To Be or Not's about uh, answers you guys every time, doesn't it? Maybe I should turn that off. Let me see. Can I can I disable that reply? Because that's that's a little much, isn't it? You know, I don't even. Yeah, I'm gonna disable. Uh, I'm gonna disable uncover. I mean, well, I'm going to disable uh, to be or not to bot's response, but just know that I will still see it, even though um, to be or not to bot has not confirmed, but I will still see it. Yeah. So, so DJ Long John, I will get that. It's just to be or not to bot was starting to spam you guys. Um, and if you guys, uh, I did a quick summary. If you guys want to read about the details, uh, including a little FAQ, I think I've explained it all, but if you are bored and like to, to read nerdy details, uh, let me paste that link in. Yeah, I pasted the link. That explains it pretty well. <laughs> okay, let us continue on. And if, if this uncovers thing goes well, if people dig it, people really find it fun and... Um, and then maybe it might be something I do like once a month or something. We'll see. And you might say once a month you do you do like 30 songs a week. 
Can't you do more? Well, again, that's that's the difference between improvisation and more compositional style. Is composition is a very slow process. But yeah, once we have the five tracks that we're gonna that you guys can vote on, the well, those who are can vote. Once I have that subscription set up. Uh, we'll have a playlist where you'll be able to listen to all the five tracks. You can make an informed, informed decision. <laughs> I love the variety. We've got Papa Don't Preach from Madonna, Stone Temple Pilots, Danzig. So, did I see Dire Straits in there? MC Hammer. Okay, let's start. Let's see. Let's do another track. Let's see. Rosen Nettles. That looks like it. Okay, let's see. We're getting ready. So we have from Northern, we have Kia G from Northern Boreal, 101 beats a minute from Rosen Nettle. <laughs> N3 has suggested uh, New Kids on the Block, Hanging Tough. <laughs> I, I I feel like if if that one gets on the board, that that might win in a landslide. We got drum loose from Brunswick Stew and Varskaya Art. We have a full set of drum fills and sounds, and we'll look at these momentarily. Okay. Okay, loading up these sounds. Uh-oh, my program just froze over there. There it goes. Okay, we got the Ghost Town kit from Effortless Mountain. Okay, that is our kit. Ghost Town Kit. This size. Import our track names. Generate our drum fills. Generate our drum loops. Do I want to do anything? Now nah, we'll do these loops straight. Okay, let's check these out. How's Bluecrest heading out? See you, Bluecrest. Okay, we got Brunswick Stew's beat. Let's check it out. Here it is. Raw from the generator. Or maybe not. Nice. That that's working pretty well just straight. I don't need to do too much. I'm just going to vary my hi-hats as I always like to do. These two snares be more as a fill kind of thing. And this snare, this snare we're going to drop a bit. Especially this snare. And this kick we're going to make more like a ghost. And that kick we're going to drop a bit. Yeah, it's very non-standard having that kick on four. I like it. Nice. 
Cool. And then we have Barskaya Art. Let's check it out raw from the generator. Cool. Let's see. What are we going to do here? Drop these hats a bit. <laughs> raw from the generator. How appropriate, because today's show is raw from the generator. You got a kick there. These two kicks we're going to drop. Actually, all these kicks. We're going to drop in volume. And let's put a... That's, that's fun. Oops. Okay, here it is. Barskaya's beat. Pretty sweet too. And non standard with our snare on three. Inevitably, someone's going to come in and say, Kid, you're breaking the rules. Your, your snare has to be on two and four. You can't just put it on three. Well, that's what we do here, guys. We break the rules. And thank you, Brunswick Stu and Barskaya. We have our beats. Let's check out our sounds. We have. From Ken Fusion, Latin Baby Bass. We got the Watch Factory from Hat Machine. Phase String from Well Blue Dicks. Dark mallet layers from Kiss the Goatee. Wow, this is a sort of a dark set of sounds. And then we got 50 sci-fi from Word Salad. Ravon from Elite. Cool. Oh, it's an interesting set of sounds we got. Okay, you guys choose which one will start the improv. Ah, Brucos is here. Oh, and I see uh, uh, DDY TDY is here. Welcome back. Okay, so we could start with one of those drum loops or Latin Baby Bass, the Watch Factory, Phase String, Dark Mallet Layers, Fifty sci fi <laughs> Don't listen to Tabir Natabat. Oh, that's Ravon. Ravon.
votes are coming in. Hey, it's RRP Townley. How are you, RRP Townley? It's been a little while. Okay, give you guys a little more time. Okay, let's see. What did I want to do? How you doing, Jiffy? Sleeping? <laughs> Everless Mountain writes, can't decide which is wackiest. Thank you, Retro Renegade. It helps to have a mic that is eight inches from the water. Okay, you guys had enough time. I'm ending voting. Ending voting. I see you guys chose 50 sci-fi by a landslide. Oh, no problem, R.P. Townley. Let's see. 50 Sci-Fi. Who requested that? Word Salad did. We are starting with 50 Sci-Fi. You know what? I'm going to crank that right there. Yeah. Okay, as I'm playing, be thinking about... Uh, titles, be thinking about venues um, for tomorrow. Think about uh, tour suggest tour name suggestions for our February set of shows. And you can also be doing more uncover suggestions. For now, I'm not limiting the number of uncover suggestions per person, but I might. So. Okay, here we go. Time to accelerate.
<laughs> Man. I just sometimes we get beats that just they can go on. I, I feel like they could go on forever. I don't need to do anything. I could have done nothing on that track. We could have just listened to Brunswick Stew and Barskaya's beats, and it would have been it would have been just Jameson, just with those beats. So whatever I did on top was just like a little bit of bonus because of those beats. But man, a nice set of sounds there. We started with the 50 sci-fi that totally set the, the mood for the whole track, you know? And then I wasn't sure I was going to use the Watch Factory because it was it's it's atonal, right? It's not in tune. But it ended up being a really nice way to to uh, um, to separate. We had our main groove, and then we would every once in a while I'd go back to the Watch Factory, Hat Machine's Watch Factory, and it'd be this nice sort of sort of spooky pause to the whole thing. Yeah, oh, that was grooving. But the I love the the kick drum on the Ghost Town kit was just just awesome, awesome kick drum. Okay, let's see titles. Sixty titles, nice job, guys. Let's see. So I think that was a longer one. I think I think that was my final track of the night. Uh, I'm do slightly shorter show than normal tonight. I think that was a good way to end the show. So, but stick around. We're gonna we're gonna name it. I'm gonna do my shout out, um, and then we're gonna raid somebody. So let's see what titles you guys came up with. See you, Phibis. Oh, thanks, Wobbledix. Thanks, everybody. From Beanick, we have Shadow Reality. We have, let's see. <laughs> from Ariona Squire hymns from the dark side From D.L. Wong John, we got Renegade Robot Rebellion. <laughs> From Brever Bro, we've got Little Green Kids. <laughs> and one more. From Cenobite Gaming Interstellar Traffic Jam. Okay, those are your options. Shadow Reality, Hymns from the Dark Side, Renegade Robot Rebellion, Little Green Kids, and Interstellar Traffic Jam. Now, what all did I do on that? I did some voice, some flute. First time I played the, uh, the triangle... I don't even have a category for it on here yet. I'm going to have to manually write it in. And then this is uh, an oct it's called an Octavia, I guess. I don't know I don't know where I got this from. I found it uh, a couple days ago.
Oh, and did I do vocals? Yeah, vocals. Yeah. <laughs> to be or not to bot wants uh, hymns for the dark side. What are you trying to say to be or not to bot? Uh, Brad Robert Bro, um, to be or not to bot is not smart enough to know that uh, your vote where you wrote four exclamation point is a vote. You need to just type the number, only the number, or it will not count. A moment more. A moment more. Okay, guys, you ready? Ready for some water? <sighs> okay, I'm ending voting. Let's see you guys chose. Hymns from the Dark Side. <laughs> that came from Ariona Squire. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions, but that track will be forever remembered as Hymns from the Dark Side. Uh, yes, that is correct, N3. Your votes only count once. You can vote multiple times to change your mind, but to be or not to bot will use whatever you vote last. Oh, yeah, that's what... Two is what... Uh, that's what to be or not to bot. <laughs> you guys, you guys followed to be or not to bot's advice. DDY TDY asks if that water was 41.1k and 24 bit. Um, I'm trying to remember. No, I'm actually at a, a 48k and 24 bit. <laughs> if I remember right, I think I'm at 40 tw 48 24. Is uh. I was taught that 48 is a little friendlier for video. Okay, let's see. Let's look at our show. Let's look what we did tonight. Uh, first, we got a f new follow from Xylos. Thank you, Xylos. Let's see. We did four tracks. <laughs> I guess they were all pretty long. This week, I've been doing long, long songs. I don't know what's going on. Just been stretching them out. That's gonna hurt my 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 output. We did teapot tiptoe, sweets rolling through the gumball machine, the last anthem, and hymns from the dark side. And tonight's show was raw from the generator. So uh, I will be back. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Is my last show of the week. I'll be here 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be here Monday through Friday next week, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So I hope I will see you all again soon. But before you guys leave, I'm doing my shout-out for you guys. So let's see. Let's see what I have to do today. Let's see. So it looks like we have... Oh, this will be easy. No problem. 34. 34 viewers. So if you haven't seen me do this before... Uh, I'm about to do a shout out to everyone who uh, had a title that was chosen by chat, a, the venue, um, and anyone who made a request that was used in, a, in one of the songs. Uh, and I like to do this every show because these songs would not exist 
if it were not for the suggestions you guys make. I mean, think about the song we just did, Hymns from the Dark Side. That song was sort of made because of uh, that request for the, the, the sci-fi synth sound that started off, that set the mood for the whole thing, right? So these songs, again, these songs would not exist if it were not for what you guys request. So that's why I like to give you guys some love at the end of the show. And what my goal is is to do, do it in one breath, all your usernames, and I should have no problem with this, with only 34, because I've done, I think, didn't I do 40-something last night, no breath, no problem? So this should be easy. Let's see. Okay, let me see if there's any tricky ones in there. And so if you're following along and wonder, I might, if you're looking at this list down here, it's pretty small, I know. Uh, there are a few users who have asked me to call them something different than what their username is. So that's why. I'm not cheating. I am following requests. Here we go. Here we go. Getting it stretched out. Oh, thanks, Prescaya. Thanks, Lost Elf. The word salad. Thanks, everybody. Oh, is it is something missing? Is one of them missing? Let me let me. You know, there could be a weird bug. Hold on. Let me let me just let me refresh the list because maybe there was an error. Thanks for catching that. Yeah, somehow it missed a couple. Why? Was Beanick was on a song? Was right? Why is why what has happened here? What is it? Hold on, hold on, guys. This is this is worrisome. I want everyone to get a shout out who who deserves one. Oh, no, I don't have V-Nick. V-Nick was yesterday. V-Nick got a shout-out yesterday, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay, getting me nervous that my my uh, program messed up. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me get back to this screen so you guys can see. Okay. Tonight, tonight we featured the following artists, creative geniuses in chat who made this show what it was. We featured, let's see, here we go. Okay, let's do this. I almost feel like I'd do this twice with one breath. Here we go. Tonight, we featured We featured I'm, I'm, This is too easy. I'm psyching myself out. We featured Ariona Squires, Aslan Barsky, Best Mime, Bucrest, Bro, 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 Bruce Siscu, Galamity, Vane, Carlito, Dark Zoon, and DL Long John Dom, Dorf, Elfless Mountain, Dramaximus, Green 99, Hat Machine, Confusion, Kiss a Goatee, Casilton, Matt Plays, Music, N3, Ninja Fleas, Northern Boreal, Rosen Nettle, Sniper Bob, Sour Frog, Lost Elf, Thurman, Triple P, Where's Hatch, Well Blue Dicks, Word Salad, and Elite. There it was. There it was. I did it. I was a little sloppy on uh, Brunswick Stew. Because I was so psyched about how fast I did Brebber Bro, I stumbled over Brunswick Stew a bit. But seriously, thanks to thank you all, thanks to everyone for making requests, uh, and thanks to my lovely lurkers, who I love. You are the most beautiful, invisible people I've never seen. You're just gorgeous, just gorgeous folks. Um, let's do a raid before you guys escape to your real life to your IRLs let's do a raid let me find someone real quick let's do a 
We, we had such a good experience last night doing a random raid. Discovered Matt plays music. Let's see if there's anyone we've never, never raided before. Oh, that looks sort of cool. Let me just see what this is. This is looks this could be cool. Uh, I think they've stopped. Okay. Okay, I, we've not raided. Okay, we've not raided her before. This is this is gonna be cool. Okay. Okay, guys. So if you've never done a raid before, I'm gonna paste the link in the chat. Well, to be or not to buy is gonna paste it in. And be sure to click on the link to go to the channel, uh, to their channel. Give a ton of ton of a set of love. Make their night be a nice surprise for them. Uh, and uh, what does it say? Yeah. So let me see. Let me just get prepped for this. Okay, so our Aseta raid call is in chat. N3's already got it. To be or not to buy, gave it as well. Um, please put your favorite, uh, your favorite emotes. See you, Lost Elf. So I will give you guys this link in a moment after I wave goodbye. But let me say that you guys have been stellar tonight. You guys have been superstars. We had a good time. We. Uh, we rolled through the gumball machine. We tiptoed over teapots. We had a nice anthem, and we sang some hymns from the dark side. We had a good, we had a good night. So whatever is next for you, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, I hope it is uh, ridiculously unbelievable and awesome that you have fun. If that's what you're looking to have, that you have seriousness. If that's what you're looking to have, that you have. Uh, um, wackiness if that's what you're hoping to have whatever adjective you want your life to be i hope it is exactly that have a good one i hope to see y'all again soon i'm out take care